Hi, I'm Raymond Cinemato, and I'm heading to the Oscars. If you're anything like me, you've always wondered where exactly are the Oscars? And when you know that it's in Hollywood, where exactly is it in Hollywood? How is it laid out? Today, we're going to dive in and see where Hollywood's most important night takes place, where the celebrities walk, and how much just goes into this crazy event. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the lay of the land at the Oscars, where it is, what the layout is, and why it matters. This is for anyone from producers who will be setting up shoots on the red carpet to celebrities who want to know where they'll be walking, to enthusiasts who love film, TV, and celebrity culture. It's also a celebration of the people who put this all together. A little backstory, I have worked the Oscars now once on the red carpet for ABC News, and I also worked at the Elton John Oscar party uh, producing the red carpet uh, for ABC News a couple years ago. Mr. Elton John was the first guy to come through, and he was a really cool guy to talk to, but then we also hit Jeff Tambor and uh, Sharon Stone and a whole bunch of other people. So first, let me tell you where it is. So here we have a map of the world. It's in the United States. And more than that, it's in Los Angeles, California. And now, as you can see here, here it is on Hollywood Boulevard at the Dolby Theater. This is where the official bona fide Oscars take place. And right here is Hollywood Boulevard on this street. It's unbelievable to me. You have the red carpet taking up three quarters of the street. And when I say that, I mean the street and the sidewalk. It takes up three quarters of the street and sidewalk. Then they have the so the other, the far sidewalk and a little bit of the street left over for work and pedestrians. It's blocked off for blocks in all directions around it. This here is the Dolby Theater where the actual celebration occurs, where the actual sitting down and watching the performances and the, and the accepting the awards actually takes place. Then you have uh, out here on the boulevard, you have the red carpet that takes over this whole area. Here's some footage and shots of what it looks like from the ground. And then the celebrities walk this way on Hollywood Boulevard and then eventually turn up to go into the Orchid Forecourt. Here's me doing like a stand up from the red carpet, doing like my own little selfie video. This is me showing you the glam bot, which was a really, really cool little setup by uh, a guy named Cole, a director named Cole with the DGA, who has his own little like, I'll call it a celebrity photo booth. <laughs> where they shoot really cool high-speed video footage and then sh create these really stylistic things out of it. You'll have to check his stuff out. I'll link him in the description. And then um, here are a couple celebrities that walked by. And then I wanted to just point out that like, you know, we're going to have the Oscars celebration come rain or shine. And this year there was rain and there have been there has been rain in the past. As you can see above, they build in like this whole area gets completely built out to, to accommodate the celebrities and, and all the press. And even with all the, these accommodations, it can still be a little bit tough on the workers sometimes because sometimes there are little areas where it doesn't quite cover. As you can see here, you've also got in Los Angeles, many parties occurring on the same night. Then you have the Elton John AIDS Foundation uh, Academy Awards viewing party, which takes place every year. And um, that occurs in the city of West Hollywood Park. And I actually cover that. Here's some shots of me at that a couple years ago. Amazingly, when all associated costs are factored in, according to multiple sources, it costs over $40 million to put on these ceremonies. And that doesn't include the news organizations and other companies. So it's an insanely expensive uh, event. The gold plated Oscar statuettes are estimated to be between $400 and $900 each. Now, I know that over the years, the viewership has dropped off. And if I'm being completely honest, I've lost a little bit of interest myself in the Oscars over the years for personal reasons and various reasons of my own. If you have any questions, ask down in the comments about that or about anything in this video. But it's also important because the hundreds, if not thousands of people behind the scenes, when you watch the Oscars on the news or you see it on television, you just see the celebrities walking by for the most part. But there are so many more people behind the scenes. Years ago when I was in college, I didn't have any connections to the industry. I didn't know anybody. And I sort of looked at Hollywood as like the way I imagine like a young King Arthur looked at the court of the kingdom. I, I you know, I find myself standing on the side of the red carpet now looking in feeling like that young man with a knight's heart
and people who are just like you are behind the scenes. Hello, everybody. It's probably written backwards here. And so with that, I just want to say thank you for tuning in. My name is Raymond Cinemato. Uh, We've talked about where it is, the layout, why it matters. And um, just so you know, uh, this is the beginning of my YouTube page and my social media platform build out. So please give a subscribe if you like it. Um, I interact in the comments and I'm also on Instagram where I interact with people in messaging and comments. And I post weekly uh, on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and I'm rolling out my blog here pretty soon. You can find everything for me at Raymond Cinemato um, or slash Raymond Cinemato. Thank you so much. And I hope this was an informative video. I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.